in this room, there's no question. I didn't, regardless of how many people is here, I can say you have been blessed. God pours out the blessings. So he says, just get it done. Just get it done. When we go back to the beginnings of this year, God challenged us physically, mentally, financially, spiritually to get it better. The revivalists challenged us and said, listen, in 2020, you got to have a greater hunger. You got to have a greater thirst. For God, that's what it's going to take. I know you need a miracle. I know you're living in famine. He got it. He said, but you've got to be a church on fire to get through this. It's the only way it's going to happen. And he says, listen, do it because worthy is the lamb. But as you do this, know it's going to take epic belief and faith and trust in God. There are going to be epic battles that will produce epic burdens. But even in the midst of all of that, know that God will produce epic blessings. If you were here during the revival, talked about Three things at the end that was the summator. It's the same summator I want to give today. And that is no fear. N-O. No fear. But no courage. K-N-O-W. And then you will own O-W-N victory. No fear. Don't be afraid, don't dread, but know some courage that I'm going to put my hand in God's hand and then own your victory. I just got to point out one thing. I can't leave it out. The writer said all these things at the beginning, verse 118, verse 1, he said, oh, give thanks. We talked about repetition. Verse 29 that closed the psalm, what does he say? Oh, give thanks unto the Lord, for he is good. And what does he say that he said over and over the first four verses? For his mercy endureth forever. Let's just get it done. God bless you. God keep you as our prayer. Amen. <laughs>